Rather than a double bridle, this is a Pelham. So similar to the double bridle, you would use two reins, but there's less steel in the horse's mouth. This is a egg butt or jointed Pelham. It is too big for Lucy. We can see that you've paid for a good two centimetres of steel if we take the bit from either the extreme right or the extreme left position. So it'd be like driving a car with a fairly loose steering mechanism. And there's too much play in this bit for this particular horse. So we'd look for a jointed pelham that was uh, two centimetres, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, narrower than this for it to fit this particular pony. And once again, it's a specialist bit. It comes with a, a curb chain. These chains shouldn't be too tight. The idea is that as the bit takes up contact, the chain then puts pressure on the mandible, which is the lower jawbone. And ideally, that uh, should be used in special situations and you would need specialist advice on whether you purchase this bit and in what circumstances you would use it. Ideally, you should buy a chain guard so that there's a bit of comfort on the horse's chin as this is a very sensitive part of their, their body. And you can buy little leather keepers which go over the chain to protect this sensitive part of the horse's anatomy while wearing this bit. I'm Mark Burnell and I'm a professional horse dentist. By all means, please get your horse's teeth checked regularly. Depending on what you feed your horse, dictates how often their teeth need to be checked. If a horse is living on grass, as Lucy's trying to do now, once a year is adequate care. If you're going to hard feed your horse and expect them to do more, especially wear a bit, it's best to get their teeth checked more regularly. Good luck with your horses.